Hey guys, it's the Ghosty Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna do a video in less than 10 minutes that is going to allow you to create a face mask. Basically it's gonna be a UV or a face and it's going to look like the one that is playing behind the scenes. I'm really excited so it's gonna be going really fast but I am really promise you that by the end of the video you should have face mask implemented on your own. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you a couple of videos and demos that I created by implementing face tracking with Unity. So you can see on the first one I have a UV map of my face. The one on the middle has a different texture. And then on the last one I'm using the UV map to create, basically to map a texture of another person. So what I wanna do is I want to try to achieve face tracking in less than 10 minutes. And I wanna show you how easy it is. So we're going to go into Unity and this video should be less than 10 minutes. So that's the goal So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new project. So this new project is going to use 2018.3 Normally I pass the videos because I don't want to have you wait for me So but in this video I want to calculate the time so we're going to look at the time at the end So this is gonna be face tracking Demo and I'm gonna put it under unity and it's going to be 3d and we'll wait until this completes. So I'm going to walk you through what packages we need, what components we need. I also have a folder here with a few textures that we're gonna be using, which are the ones that I just showed you in the other video. And I'm also going to be posting this source code in GitHub. So just, you know, don't worry about it. If you don't get caught up really quick, it's going to be available in GitHub. So. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into scenes and this is gonna be called face tracking demo. I'm gonna say reload and we're gonna need a couple of packages. So we're gonna go into package manager and because we're gonna be using AR foundation, we're gonna need AR foundation and I'm gonna be using the latest version of AR foundation, which is 3.0.1. So we're gonna install that piece and there we go. And after this, we're going to be installing the AR kit package and lastly the face tracking package. So if you do the face tracking, it's going to install the AR kit package by, you know, because it's a dependency. So all you need to do is install this one and you'll see that it also installs the other one. I'll show you the manifest so you can see that information as well. And that's everything that we need to do for packages. So just close out of this. And, and now if we look at packages, you're gonna see the ARKit XR plugin is installed. So before we get going with the face tracking implementation, I need to change a couple of things here. We need to change this to iOS. I'm gonna switch the platform. And I done this honestly a million times and that's why I know exactly what to do. So make sure that you follow, you follow the steps. As I indicate, we're gonna go into player settings and then I'm not gonna change anything here other than making sure that we are in iOS. We need to make sure that we're using iOS 11 because that's when that's when the face tracking implementation was actually put in and we want to require ARKit support. And we're also, oh, this is a new feature of Unity. They populated these by default with, because we're using ARKit. That's great, Unity, thank you. And then we're gonna go and use the ARM64 because that is one of the requirements. And then lastly, I'm gonna go into the XR plugin. I'm gonna create a new basically a new loader, a new setting. And I think that's everything. And then lastly, we're going to go here into the XR plugin management. And I think that's everything, ARKit loader. Let's go ahead and add the ARKit loader. I didn't do that before, but I wanna make sure that we have everything set up correctly. And also the ARKit build settings. I'm just gonna create build settings and I'm gonna save them in that same directory. Okay, so I think that's everything on the configuration side. Now we need to right click here. We're gonna go into XR. Then I'm going to be creating, I need to create an AR session first. That's always the rule. Then we're gonna go into and create an AR session origin. Now in the AR session origin, I'm gonna look for face and I'm gonna add in a AR face manager. It's going to require that we have a face prefab and also how many faces we wanna track. I'm just gonna do one face right now. So it's gonna keep it simple. Now I'm going to be creating a new folder and let's call it materials. I'm also gonna be creating another one for prefabs. And I'm gonna do this really quick because I don't have a lot of time. And I'm gonna go into materials and this one is gonna be face material. And let's say that we want to add the UV for, oh, and I need another folder. This one is gonna be textures. And in the textures, I'm gonna be just dropping in all of them. We're just gonna use one for now and it's going to be the UV one. 
Let's wait until Unity loads it. Come on, Unity. I'm running out of time. And it should be done now. Awesome. Now let's go into materials, face materials. I'm going to modify the texture in the albedo property. And we're going to be using the one that is UV because that's the one that people were asking about. And I like to use metallic so it gives me that look on the, I think let's add a little bit of smoothness. And then on the prefabs, I'm going to create a new component here under XR. And it's going to be the default face. And now it's going to require that we put in a material. We're going to be using the one that we just created. And this is going to add everything that it needs in order to create a mesh, a mesh of your face. And we can just leave that name by default. I'm going to drag it and drop it into prefabs. Close out of this. And then we associate it with this new prefab, which is going to be the one that I just created. I don't know what it doesn't show there, but we'll just drag it and drop it here. And honestly, that's everything that we need to do. Let's just go ahead and build it. Add the scene and make sure that you add the scene. And I like to do development builds. So actually, we can do release here and then development. And that's everything that we need to do to get this going. So I'm just going to put it in the desktop, face tracking, demo. And that is everything, guys. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video today on AR Foundation with AR Kit. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting early access source code and also what's happening behind the scenes. Thank you very much, guys.